How's it going, Nova Crew? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got an absolutely amazing mansion for you guys. This was built in 1991. There's three or four houses on the street that are gonna be demolished. This is one of them. This place is insane. It's huge. There's a crazy indoor pool. I think you guys are gonna absolutely love this one. So without further ado, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's just get right into this one. All right guys, so this is the main foyer of this house and it is absolutely huge. <laughs> you got a giant arch ceiling right here. You actually have to go up a couple steps just to get up here. Right away, just walking through quickly, it looks like they uh, they played hockey, so that's interesting. Look at this, like look at the window above the door. Isn't that amazing? It's fabulous. So you're probably gonna hear the smoke detector going off. It's like super high up. I can't take the battery out for you guys, but uh, like look at that staircase. Look at the wings gone and going up the side of it. That's so nice. They did not cheap out. They got marble flooring all throughout this main level almost. So this is only abandoned at the starting of this year. The developer bought out the four houses like I mentioned at the start. Um, so we do have some family items still like these books and these movies still in these boxes. I mean, they're pretty old though. I mean, they're VHS's, so... Looks like it was maybe an Asian family. I just can't get over this foyer. It's huge, and like the chandelier, man. That's incredible. Alright, so... Obviously, this is the office. Completely wooden. The coffered ceiling. Look at the design that actually goes around the light switch panel. That's cool. Got some more books. Obviously, they had kids. Not super surprising. Oh, they had a little bar here, a little wet bar. Still has some alcohol. No idea what this is. Windows 2000 server. That's cool. They left a lot of stuff behind, like nothing of real value, but. You know, there is some stuff like, what is this? Monopoly? Some hockey cards. Yeah, I mean, lots of stuff in this office. I don't know if they, uh, it ended up becoming like a kid's playroom or what, but you know, they have the little bar, the little wine uh, cup holders. So it's pretty cool. This house is big. I mean, on the realtor listing, it says it has like a 2,700 square foot solarium, which is very cool. I do know that they're repurposing stuff from this house, which is good. I mean, a lot of the doors are missing. This trim has been ripped off because they do have some very nice crown molding up at the top and around the door frames and such. So. Anytime they can repurpose it, that's a a nice uh, check mark in my in my books. Look at the height of the ceilings here. It's got to be what 20, 30 foot ceiling here. It's crazy. It's 
beautiful windows. This is a 90s house, so they're gonna have a lot of like grays and beiges and stuff. You're not gonna get crazy wallpapers, but just the sheer scale of this house is absolutely insane. Some of the 90s flair comes through. This interesting, uh, not sure if it's marble, but this tiling. It's very 90s-esque. Same with this fireplace. We got some detail on the fireplace itself. Looks like they're using the Tropicana uh, containers to water their plants. I think these are teas, if I'm correct. Not sure. And we got those same beautiful windows on this side. I definitely consider this a mansion. I mean, this is a very, very large home. It probably pulled up all the hardwood in here. It was quite nice hardwood. I think it still remains in one of the other rooms. I'd be surprised if they don't take the crown molding, honestly. This is probably the dining room. You can see the detail in the ceiling. Probably had a nice chandelier hanging right there. This leads straight out into the backyard. They did have a playground, another shed. Again, you can see that they took off the, uh, the moldings. So that's good. Look at the size of the kitchen, wow. I can't imagine being able to afford a house of this size. So many cupboards, just everything. They did have some nice granite countertops. Obviously when they're taking the sink out, they destroyed it. So, it's honestly just no good. I mean, you could section it and cut it, I guess, but most likely it's just gonna go in the trash. I like when they have a built-in Lazy Susan. I like a two. Yeah, so much storage. Look at the guy up there. <laughs> It's a fairly new hood. I mean, it's not bad at all. Bunch of pot lights. This leads uh, back behind the staircase there. That is a hell of a fly swatter. Like this is my hand, <laughs> oh my gosh. Probably had a little sink there too. What is this, why is there a handle here? Is that just a whole, okay, just for a towel. It's interesting because like in the 90s, this house was very up to date, but very quickly with all like new technologies and stuff coming out, this house became outdated fairly quickly, um, which isn't super surprising, but you know, within probably five, 10 years, this house was already out of date. So like I said, this leads to the backyard. We could go out there, but it's getting dark. I do want to be able to show you guys everything. So I'm gonna stick inside. Got a big new tall. Wow. Probably one of the doors they're gonna save. It's a nice door. Like I said, January of 2023. Did a dentist appointment at 2.30 on January 5th. Nothing else is written in it, so probably was the last month they were here before they got bought out. I don't know if this is a living room or what, but uh, it's very, very big. Look at this fireplace. The Napoleon, nice wood burning fireplace. Cherry red uh, 
the cherry wood floors. Even the, the design in this is interesting. It's incredible. I guess this was like a lounge area. Like I'm not sure 100% what this room is for. So if you guys know, let me know. Cause I mean, it seems like, I mean, I would I guess it's the, I would guess it's the living room, but there's another very large room way over there. All right guys, I told you that there's an indoor pool and this Indoor pool is incredible. This reminds me of something out of like the 60s or the 70s. I'm not sure why it's designed like this, <laughs> but it is just completely wooden. It's gorgeous. Flooring that they have, the wood. These incredible skylights right above the seating area. And they're absolutely massive. Of course, the obligatory fake plants are all covered in dust. But you have a viewing area, essentially. And you come down these steps they have a uh, stove top in here, so they could cook. Even a hood, so like you could really cook in here. There is a lot of standing water in there. That's weird. Carbon black mold stinks, absolutely stinks. Fish door handles. This has to be one of the most incredible indoor pools I've ever had the pleasure of uh, getting to check out, guys. Like this pool is absolutely massive. It's probably, what, 10, 15 feet deep? Seating area over there. It's like a hotel. That's the best way I can describe it. Like, I love that everything in this house is just huge open windows. Yeah, you just very rarely see an indoor pool of this stature. Like, it's just insane. Now, this is very cool. So, this. It's not only a bathroom, it's a shower and a changing room. So you walk straight in, obviously. We have a toilet, we have a nice built-in shower. Pretty basic, but we have it. Over here, in this big, like, tubular spot here. We got some pool supplies. I think this would have been a change room absolutely love these glass blocks. You simply cannot beat them. Walk all the way around. Yep. We should have some bathing suits still. Even got the flip-flops. It's pretty wild. I bet you they didn't use this that often as a change room. based on the fact they just have like pool supplies and stuff. But that was the intent. I mean, you don't have hooks here just for no reason. Yeah, this is incredible, but I just wanna give you a nice pan and show you this like bricked in section of this pool. It's just insane. We 
have a very sketchy uh, <laughs> diving board. But yeah, I mean, it is deep. Like, it is extremely deep. Obviously, they had some plants here. I'm assuming this was either, it looks like this was a sand garden or like a, like a water feature. That's what it reminds me of. Cause I mean, they have the hoses there. I mean, maybe they had some flowers. They had some just like ornamental things here, but it's probably quite nice in its day. One more pan of this pool room. Absolutely incredible. All right, let's carry on. Okay, so three car garage. Got some umbrellas. In January 2022, so house hasn't been abandoned that long. They just recently put up the tree protection. You can still smell the uh, sawdust cuttings. So they are still working in here, removing stuff. So we want to be as respectful as possible. Okay, here's the reclaimed floor. Same with the doors and drawers. Very interesting. Oh, wow, that's really unstable. That's weird. They must have expanded the house at some point. I'm not gonna go any further because this staircase is really sketchy. I just wanna go down. Got a little side entrance. I wonder if they had a mother-in-law suite in the basement. Seems like Asian families generally do. Seems like it's a, a fairly common practice. Probably the laundry room. Oh, they got a lot of hockey equipment. It's pretty new hockey equipment too. Power Supremes, Fire Vapors, CCMs. These are sharpened skates when I used to work at Sport Check. We used to deal with a lot of these Bauer and CCM uh, skates. They're not the highest quality ever, but they're pretty damn good. Yeah, so this would have been the laundry room. Obviously, they took the shelving units off the walls. Took the machines, so that's good. Uh, can't really complain about that. This is definitely just like a pantry or another closet. This is a bathroom. Look at the size of the mirror. It's very cool. Okay. So I think we're gonna go downstairs. So we're right here. I like the wing squatting. Oh wow, look at the bar. The 
full wooden bar. I'll get to that in a second. Let's just go this way quick. Wow, it's a big cedar closet. Kind of smells like Rub A535. <laughs> Oh, I actually got mold starting down here. That's a shame. I mean, it's getting knocked down anyways, doesn't matter. Beautiful staircase though. Okay. Yeah, this is a very large entertaining area. That's for sure. Beautiful bar. I like this like popped out uh, feature on it. Gives a lot of depth, if you know what I mean. I guess I used to play hockey down here, like mini sticks probably. It's a big bar, I mean, I like the, uh, I guess this is still considered a coffered ceiling because there's a pillar behind me, but so nice flooring's very nice. Obviously they've been ripping out copper piping and all that kind of stuff. Wow. It's just incredible. Like the amount of stuff that gets left behind and how quickly these kind of houses go. They get just demolished and nobody even bats an eye. Big bar. What's this? The whale bone for killer thirst. <laughs> Is that like marine land or something? Tinted uh, mirror. Can't probably see it, but it's bronze. This one didn't change till uh, <laughs> last time we got changed was December of 2021. They're not built ins, but it's a nice cabinet. It's a very old Toshiba. I mean, that's a 90s TV. Maybe even 80s, like late 80s, but uh, it's a flat screen, like tube style TV. Oh, look at this. Look at this fireplace green tiling, the green surround on the actual gas fireplace itself. It's very unique. And it's weird because like they left this door open, they left the pool door open, like it's all open this house. It's not like it's, you know, it's not hard to just walk in here to explore. It's it's really strange. Somebody absolutely pegged the ball into the wall. <laughs> Maybe this was a little office as well. There you go, Mini Cooper. This is cool. It's a shame, this is a really nice house. Like this is, I honestly don't think this needs much uh, renovation or it probably didn't need much renovation before, uh, you know, before they started ripping stuff out. Crystal long. Oh, that's weird, it's like piping. I don't know if this is considered parquet floor. Really reminds me of it, but. Some sort of fur. <laughs> That's probably just a bunch of sheets. This was probably a bedroom down here, I would guess. It has its own bathroom. Just a small one. Nothing too, too crazy. It's pretty smashed up, but 
It's what you kind of expect. Quite a bit of storage under here. Look at this washroom. Look at the wallpaper. Glossy flowers. So, okay. In my mind, this looks like this was almost a daycare. This looks like a daycare for when they were younger. Maybe the mother or the father was running a daycare here. And then it got converted into a little home gym when they were done with it. Um, that'd make a lot of sense. Or this turned into, or this was just a game room maybe. Um, kind of weird. It, it looks like it would have been like a little kids room a playroom, but with the uh, workout equipment, it's kind of strange. But to further that, we have a shower, or yeah, we have a shower right here. A very uh, retro shower, that's for sure. Blue tile everywhere, super cool. We got a very large sauna. Um, like, not a bad size. Oh god, not a bad size at all. Got the rocks right there. It's very, very cool. So you guys let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think this was? A little daycare? A little games room? Maybe turned into a workout room? I mean, with the sauna, I think it was intended to be a workout room to begin with. But, uh... Who knows, they could have just slotted this equipment in here before they left. What is this? This is weird. Oh, this is the breaker room. Okay. That is a thick cable, holy crap. <laughs> And they probably needed, uh, well, this probably tended to be a laundry room too. It's got the outlet, but this is a big furnace. This has required power, man. Look at that. That is a lot of paint. What is this? Look at this safe. Not only do you have to crack the outside for even more aggressive valuables, you have to get into this one too. Look at the size of the pins, man. Like. Crazy. They were have they had something in there serious, probably money. This door is like I don't know, like 50, 60 pounds at least. It's hinged too. Okay, I think I covered the entire basement here. Oh, this is what they're up, uh, ripping down from here. The copper pipes. Makes a lot of sense. And yes, I know there's a staircase over there. It just leads upstairs. It's just quicker to go this way. Still can't get over this like main foyer that they have here. Yeah, I really wish I could shut that off. I'm 
my old house that I used to live in had something like this staircase. We also had another ledge right up there. We used to put a Christmas tree there. Okay, let's go this way first. I would assume this is probably the kids' bathroom. I don't know, it's not big enough to be a uh, master in my opinion, but I mean, there are shaving razors down there. Who knows how old the kids were though. Kind of weird that you have to like step up into the shower. Jetted tub, that's very nice. Of course, they got their nice skylight right there. This is just one of the uh, bedrooms. I think this is laminate floor. I'm not sure it's hardwood. It doesn't feel um, all too good. It's a very big walk-in closet though. I don't think anybody's squatting here, but I mean, it kind of, just off of this, it looks like it. Just notice something crazy too. Um, you see the nest? How big that is? <laughs> I really wonder how much they got paid out for this house. Got Mont Blanc. Got diesel. Some designer stuff, I believe. Um, not 100% sure though. I do not have the funds for designer, as most of you probably know. <laughs> Is this the, uh, the master? It'd make the most sense. It feels like this is the master. Cause I got there, yeah, this is definitely the master. They have their own walkout sun room right upstairs here. Not, I would say it's a sun room. It's not a solarium. The the room at the pool is definitely the solarium, but yeah, this is beautiful. You can sit up here and even watch your kids. Makeup table? Well, not little, but quite a large makeup table. <laughs> that hasn't been open in a many, many moons. <laughs> You have a Louis Vuitton bag. I don't think there's anything in it. No, I took all the Louis Vuitton as expected. Why wouldn't they? It's a very large walk-in closet. Again, another walk-in closet. One was his, one was hers, most likely. They did update the house at some point. They did paint from beige to a more green beige. <laughs> and look at this, their master 
bath right here. Beautiful sun, uh, skylight, that's what I'm thinking. I got a water uh, put, bleh, a water pick. <laughs> He's in her sink. Oh, look at the tiling they chose for this, wow. That is a bold statement. This with a marble window. Mm -hmm. I like it. I think it's cool. Of course, they have their jetted tub. Oh, loof on a stick. That's a good idea. <laughs> that is an idea that I should uh, invest in. This, like, very 90s looking toilet. Guys, get yourself a bidet. If you haven't got one, it'll change your life, trust me. Yeah, this is an unreal bathroom. Got the heat lamp right there. There is that window for the shower. Very random, but I mean, it is what it is. getting late so we do got to start wrapping up you've got some linen still in the linen closet pretty basic bedroom nothing crazy to this one Nothing crazy in this one. That window is completely open. Interesting, we have a shared bathroom between the last two rooms. Maybe this is where the kids' bathroom was? Holt ring through. I like that the, uh, the toilet has this skylight above it. The same kind of yellowy shower like they had downstairs. It's very interesting. Interesting what gets left behind. Okay, this was definitely a kid's room. Presented to Colin for memorizing his timetables, June 16th. Too bad it doesn't say the year. Ooh, I like the uh, Marvel characters. I like Marvel a lot. Obviously, like the sea life. All Colin. Yeah, like it's wild, like there's just a MacBook Pro box, and like this is a fairly new, yeah, this is like one of the newer MacBook Pros. It's like crazy that it's just sitting here. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That's the entire house. It's a very big house. It's, it's a mansion in my mind, um, that's for sure. All right, Nowhere Crew, I really hope you enjoyed this absolutely amazing explore of this abandoned 90s house it is massive this pool room here absolutely insane the whole house is just crazy when there's houses this size abandoned it's just unreal so if you guys enjoyed it be sure to hit that like button drop a comment down below tell me what you thought of this place and uh be sure to hit that subscribe button I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2023 so you could help us get there that'd be absolutely amazing i'm out it's getting late so i'll see you guys in the next explore